Good morning, everyone. Welcome back, or good afternoon, wherever you're at in the world. We are going to waste no time, <clears throat> get started here. As you can see on the screen, for anybody watching on Twitch, if you are an Amazon Prime member, your subscription on Twitch, if you choose to use it uh, on this channel, it is free and it will keep you from having any type of ads during the stream. So if you are a, uh, a Prime user, you can link your Prime account to your Twitch. And then yes, you can sub to the channel for free and no ads. So no ads is a beautiful thing because three minutes every hour is, uh, yeah, I don't like it. I use my Prime sub, my favorite streamer. I actually did it yesterday, so because I just like watching ad, ad free. So that'll be up here on screen because I know some folks don't see the, um, I believe the plugin that's that's on Twitch. So yeah, we'll just have that up there for the entirety of the stream. Anyways, let's get started. Ball back, welcome in. Probably just slaughtered your name there, but uh, that's just me, man. That's just me. I do that I do that type of stuff. <clears throat> Super bad at pronunciation, but I'm excellent with remembering faces. All right, uh, let's go to hard mode. All right, so I believe the the plan today um, is going to be try to unlock the Kirvets, the K7M, and then potentially get some farming, which we all love, right? So that's going to be the main focus today, moving farming equipment around and stuff like that, getting getting some of these fields knocked out. All right, cool. So the last thing we did was pick up this task here. Garbage. What's up, Isaac? Welcome in. And there's more garbage and the garbage is down here and I'm actually going to do something that I normally probably wouldn't do. I'm just going to detach right here because there's, there's no reason for me to take this trailer down in here and try to maneuver it. I think if it was a regular sideboard or flatbed. I probably could just do that. Actually, maybe I probably could have just used this, but it's fine. <clears throat> We're grinding, soul. We are grinding. Yo, Karanka, thank you for the follow. Welcome in. Yep, today is going to be... We're going to punch out some missions, but we're also probably going to be farming a little bit. What's up, Scorpio? Welcome in. Good morning, good afternoon, guys. All right, so I'm just gonna pin this. It's a quick little mission here for to start off. You know, a little quick warm up. Quick warm up. Yeah, I think that 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 trailer kind of would have got stuck on a lot of things in here. So this is kind of a, I think a better move. <clears throat> Oh, okay, maybe it wasn't a good move. All right, um, about that. <laughs> huh. This place is a death trap. Instantly. Instant delete. Of suspension. Tires. <laughs> Yikes, man. Come on, Saber. Come on, man. Oh. Are you kidding? Come on, Saber. I play your game. Counterbalance here. Oh, man. I think... Most of my tires are just straight up blown. This is crazy. I 
this definitely puts a uh, a little bit damper on the order of operations. Now I'm gonna have to go get some some repairs because I'm just bleeding fuel now. Four of six tires, the whole suspension gone. Good morning, Jigsaw. Uh, well, we got unlucky down there recovering this. That's what that's what happened. Wait, am I? Wait, is this is this the shack? Wait, wait. Oh, that's the hermit shack. Okay, I need to go back and get repairs. So I need to go back fast too. So boom, boom. Yeah, skip. I just skip back. My front tires are busted. I think. I don't know. I know this one is. Oh. <laughs> Look at this thing, man. This is funny. Oh, I gotta, I gotta keep it here. I'm gonna tip. Yeah, that's that's the difficulty with hard mode is uh, you just can't have daylight <laughs> when you want it. Yo, oh, we're struggling right now. We're struggling. It's literally because my front tires are just done and I'm dragging in the front. I'm literally pushing myself through this through this crap. Yeah, yeah, we're just... I have no... I have no clearance, so I gotta get to, like, the grass. And basically just take shortcuts the whole way. Okay, that's what we're going to do. Shortcut time. You know, I wonder, do I do I need anything from here? Vehicle spare parts. Are vehicle spare parts here? No, just drilling. What about solar panels? I know there's one for solar panels. Hold on. Maybe the solar panels go to the other map, I believe. Ah, uh, I'm not even worried about this right now. Never mind, not even worried about that. Not, not in the best shape here. Shoot, another one of these. The 
course. Of course, I would get myself into a situation like this. Uh, actually, let's go like this. Maybe I can just turn left out of this. tank is just like letting everything out right now. <laughs> yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm going the right way. Almost there. How's everyone doing this morning, afternoon, evening? Wait, Isaac, weren't you the one that requested the loaf? shift. Oh, man. Hopefully you can relax, man. Hopefully you can relax now. Oh, I'm out of fuel. Just crushing this, uh, this fuel tanker. your little farm here. I, mean, I really hope this uh, this trailer has enough repair points. Doesn't have any wheels. Okay, so you know what I'm gonna do. Instead of just burning that whole trailer out right now, and just using that for kind of like a residual repair, I'm not just gonna take myself right into this, this garage and just repair myself completely. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Just, just get it done right now. <laughs> Look at that thing. <laughs> hey, look, we're back. Brand new. Okay. Alright, guys. What is the move here? Is the move farming? Or are we going to... Do I just keep pumping missions until we... Or should I just try to get the Kiravets? Which is farming, essentially. What do you guys think? Start the inevitable or try to avoid it for a little bit? need to take this to the hermit shack which i definitely need to do lost treasure grocery run not even messing with that only thing is i, I wonder oh we deliver it here okay copy that what i honestly what i kind of want to do 
is do power the transformer. I think I might do power the transformer after I after I do this one. It seems like something quick, maybe not, or I can do a part of it. But I need to get up here to refuel as well at some point. Hmm. Maybe when I drop this off at the hermit's place, I'll go back up here, grab some fuel, come back, don't come back, back, do this. Yeah, maybe that's maybe that's maybe that's the move. Lost treasure. That's not treasure. <laughs> it's garbage. I need to do the special delivery as well at some point. But uh That's probably gonna have to wait. You know what? Do I even need to take this route? I probably could just went right through. Whatever. Alright, let's go. How much fuel do I have? I'm good. I think I'm okay. A little bit in the tank too as well. You know, I'm, I'm thinking about something. I think when we get the pike, um, I think I definitely want to use it. Yeah, I think I actually do. <laughs> I think I do want to use it. Yeah, I almost, I'm almost thinking we use the pike a good bit here. I think the thing about the pike for me is I believe it's it's range. It's weird, because I hate saying this, but I think the best way to use the pike is with the sideboard bed. Just because of that that custom sideboard bed that gets the um, the extra fuel. That that's kind of per, that's that's pretty valuable actually, if you think about it in the terms of range. But, I mean, who knows? If I'm going to be using this, this setup here like this, I'm probably not going to be moving a lot of uh, support trailers around. Somewhat, though. I think the, the next question that I've been kind of, like, debating in my mind is if... Uh, so, we, we know that fuel on the Institute is going to be free. Okay. Do I take full advantage of that for kind of loading up my fleet with with fuel to go to like Ontario? I don't know. Actually, I wish I could find out how much fuel I actually burn or how much fuel I buy every season. That would be a really cool statistic. If I could guess, I'm gonna slow down here. I'm not going to bust myself up right after I just repaired. I would love to see how much I spend on fuel. 
on a given map. I'm get I'm guessing it's it's forty to I'm guessing forty to seventy thousand a map. I, I I think probably on the low end on a two map region, and then I think on like a four, probably upwards of like seventy. A more is probably the most I've spent. All is well. All's well that ends well, okay? The man's happy, we're happy, and I hope a little bonus to your pay would make you happy too. Okay, cool. Copy that. I'm gonna go up here and grab some fuel. I'm gonna cross right here. Snatch up some fuel, head down. Uh, produce some beams, take them quickly to the transformer. Um, I'm not sure where the next part is. Let's see here. Is it locked? It is locked. Container site. Hmm. Okay, if it's if it's in a different map, I'm not gonna worry about that, but we will deliver these beams though. High voltage. Not worry about that. Power of the sun. We we could do this, but the trailer with parts is there, which I don't need to really worry about. Because if this mission's coming from there, I can just basically bring this and then pop up here and grab these and bring them down. So, yeah, it looks like we're going to be farming after I deliver these, um, deliver these metal beams. Or maybe I could, I could go down and grab those, uh, solar panels just to get that part knocked out. They have one less thing to do whenever I actually bring that trailer. crossing at all. This is the only thing. That was a little gotcha point right there, right? Yeah, what is what's going on here? Am I stuck? I'm not going to wait for that. I pro it probably would churn through. I'm not going to wait. What's up, Widow? Welcome in, man. Steady, slow and steady. This is probably a good reason why why folks really dislike trucks with no all-wheel drive. It's because in situations like that, you just kind of have to be patient. To 
the gas station. Tony, man, these like little rit. What are these like? I'm trying to f the correct term for all these like little gullies that head down the uh, uh, it's like runoffs or like s spillways or something like that. I think it's a nice touch. Those little ridges that come down the mountain like that. Okay. Why doesn't it not want to fill the trailer? Okay, this is... It won't let me. <laughs> That's so stupid. Alright, cool. Well, now we're filled. <laughs> so stupid. Good to go. Morning is here. Oh, it's nice. Usually get stuck with this trailer. Actually, it's like right here. Not that time. Here's where it is. This is a good spot. Here's where it is. Oh, not that time. Huh? That's cool. Nice. No. Let's go. Let's go, and they say real rear wheel drive trucks stink. Look at that. The power. basically go to the back entrance if I can find this line there it is to the crafting zone which is to do the stuff I love to do crafting lovely Okay, so, yikes. Oh, that's right, I'm gonna have to do these cabins at, at some point. This is not gonna be fun. Metal beams, I need four, cuatro. Um, no, not you. How much, gen how much fuel does it have, the generator? I'm probably gonna have to fill it, actually. like how it does that. Will let me now? Not enough space. It won't let me... 
manual load that? That's... That's not cool. That's, that's not cool at all. Want to make manual loading great again. No, I actually just might throw these beams up on top of the bed. At least one set. Ah, you know what? We might just do the cab pack thing. Because these are a little bit more low profile than uh, that garbage. out, you know? Yeah, okay, so there's a, there's a, actually a, um, there's a good tip I learned. I mean, this is the thing, man. I learned somebody. Here's his name. His name is Alien. I think it's Pi. This guy right here. I've been watching him about as long as I've been watching District. Probably, actually, I've been watching Alien Pirate longer than I've been watching District. So he used to do, um, like speed runs, or he would start speed runs of of SnowRunner. Then he also did his own custom hard mode way before hard mode was a thing. And I actually liked his rules, right? But I was watching his stream, just kind of like lurking the other night as I was working on some stuff. And he, he was doing, I think was, he was doing another speed run or basically probably just de-rusting on, on a speed run, which was essentially like him just completing contracts. Um, Cause he hasn't done it in, oh, it's been maybe two years. So he was, you know, going through this and he had a truck and a hitch trailer. Okay, attached and what he did was um it's crazy how you learn things every day so the key to unloading your trailer first is you just unpack you deconnect so first you, you disconnect from the trailer you unpack the cargo that's in your bed in the truck's bed the sideboard bed or flatbed you basically reattach to the trailer turn in the cargo and all the, the cargo's trailer will go first, and then you just repack. So then you still have weight on wheels, and you're losing uh, excess drag on the trailer. Huge. I never knew that. Never knew that. So little, little tip there. Just unpack, disconnect, unpack the cargo in your truck, reconnect, the cargo is still packed on your trailer. You just connect to your trailer. And then the cargo that's packed is what is what the game takes, essentially. Yeah, Alien Pirate. He's a... Uh, man, is an OG. Good friend of the channel. I, I love that channel, man. No, well, here's what you do. All you have to do, you can you can either take your cargo out. I wouldn't do that. So, let's say. Okay, so let me see if I can explain this again. What you do is, you. So if you have cargo in your bed, and in your trailer, what you'll do is, you'll disconnect from your trailer before you turn in any cargo. You will unpack, just unpack. So the cargo will still sit in your bed on your truck. So you're disconnected from the trailer. The trailer's cargo is still packed. You unpack the cargo from your truck. Then you reconnect to the trailer that has the packed cargo. Then you turn in the cargo. So what will happen is it'll take the missions are written in the code to only take basically packed cargo, right? So then, yeah, you're just you're getting rid of the load behind you instead of the weight on wheels. Okay, sweet. 
Yeah, it kind of blew my mind when he did it. I was like, huh. Never knew that. I mean, this thing is wobbly. You know, having a flexible frame is, is nice and all. Man, I'm telling you. I need to an angle because I'm not looking too good here. All right, let's go. Take a shortcut. So essentially what I did was I, I connected to the bottom, the bottom metal beams here, and then I just pressed down with the crane as far as I could, right? So by doing that, I need to actually go back to the trail, I think. I don't know if I'll be able to get through all this jazz. Let's, I mean, we could try it. Ah, uh, no, I'm not. I'm not going to risk it. I don't want to get stuck somewhere, especially if my cargo doesn't, like, glitch through the, the trees and stuff like that. So we'll just mosey our way back, I guess. Sad face. Dude, these ruts, man. Correct, correcting, correcting all the time. Yeah, it's it, it's like it's one of those things where it's like you you definitely think you should have you should have known. You know what I'm saying? Like. Because how many times have, have we rolled up to a, a drop-off location and forgot to pack the cargo? And we're like, why won't you accept it? And it's like, uh, duh. Cargo's not packed. It's just, uh, yeah. Thinking outside the box in, like, small ways is just it's crazy. And I'm listing so far right now. It doesn't help that I have all this weight sitting on my cab <laughs> and no drive axle. What's up, District? Welcome in, man. Let's get over here. Let's get on. Let's get on some solid ground. some solid ground here. Whew. Dude, the ruts are just killing me right now. Yeah, that could have been bad. Like I've just been trying to save save the load the whole this whole trip. does help a lot. Although, I have been known to do the tricycle effect, where you essentially go up on two wheels because your back wheels are so wide and your front wheels aren't as much. Uh, let's see if we can do something here. Can I do the... Can I do the double? Let's see if we can do a double. Can we double it? Can we double it? the strength. Test your might. Now. What? What? It's saying the cargo is there. second. I actually might see if I can get the get it like on. Stupid. Okay, it didn't work, but okay, so it works if you have single cargo, 
it, it will work. Because you you just have the wind strength. We've we've done that before. What am I doing? Am I still connecting to the bottom one? I think I am. <laughs> what is going on here? What is going on here? Okay. That was weird. That was really weird. I, if you do want to let me pack cargo, I would love that. No, that's great. Oh my goodness. All right, cool. Stage complete. Let's see where that trans that searched the container area. I think it's probably in the institute. No, it's in Harvest Corp. Are you serious? Okay. Well, I think it's time to 30 harvestless years. And I essentially need to bring over all of my equipment and yeah, where's the cure vets? They, they fixed the reef, the refuel bug. Uh, if they did, that's amazing. If they did, that's amazing. Um, so, honestly, guys, I, I think... Okay, so I, I think I need to buy another K700, actually, y'all. Um, I think we might do that. As, as much as I hate to say I, I need to do this, I, I think I do. I think I need to buy another one. I really don't want to. Um, but just for the fact... Oh, man. 150k? Should I do this? Should I be using three tractors? Is this what I should be doing? <laughs> I think if I'm do if I do this, no, don't buy two tractors. I don't know if I want to pay that price. Three K7M, dude. Do you know how much K7Ms cost? We're, we're talking like two hundred K. You can sell it back, Joe, but you only get 50% of the price. I'm going to tell you this. If, if, if I do that, I'm going to tell you for certain. I'm going to tell you for certain. If I do that, I'm cheesing this game with fuel on the Institute. I'm going to have like 10 trucks filled with fuel. So I don't pay for fuel basically all of Ontario and all of BC. K7Ms. It's worth it. Are you sure it's worth it? Yo, Doc the Man, welcome in. Thank you for the follow. Whoa. Yeah, you can steer left, steer right. We're good. Well, well, here's the thing. It's because fuel is free on the Institute. That's what I'm saying. So, technically... It's part of what they've already implemented. So is it cheating? I don't know. You got this game three days ago. You haven't stopped playing since. Awesome, man. Awesome.
I love, dude, honestly, I love talking to new players. This is like my favorite time of, of the stream. I love it, seriously. It just brings me back, man. It, it's like a good feeling. I seen I seen the the Instagram shot there, District. That was pretty funny. What is your problem? Okay. Uh, what truck are you using? I love helping people. Fleet Star. Okay. Here's a here's an awesome video for you to watch, Doc. But I'm I'm going to show you a little something here. It's going to take me two minutes to show you this this principle. But in that video, it, I lay out how to traverse mud. Okay. No, you don't count as a new player. Eight hundred hours. Come on, man. <laughs> okay, so check it out. You have a Fleet Star. I'm guessing you have a sideboard bed like this, right? Um, most people do. Um, I probably wouldn't use a fleet star with a low saddle just because it's frame length, but I, here, here's what I, I would say. Most trucks are, are better to use with a low saddle just because of this purpose here. I'm going to kind of show you. All right. This is a test ground. This strip gets deeper as I traverse. Okay. I'm going to show you this. These now take, keep in mind, I am on highway tires. Okay. These, these are highway tires. Now, all right, so here, here's how important this feature called diff lock is. I could get through this strip, I believe, if I didn't even have all-wheel drive. I've done some pretty hard mud strips without all-wheel drive. Diff lock is so, is so powerful, and here's why it's really powerful, is when in combination with weight on back wheels, okay, here's... Here's the, I think the UHD twos. All right, so check this out. Here's my velocity going through the strip. You'll see this number come up and come down. And I'm gonna show you basically how to crawl through this strip. But every time you go out, something to do is whenever you know you're gonna travel through mud, put some weight in your bed. All right, so let's go. All right, you'll see this keeps, this continues to get deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper. No, actually, it, to a to a degree, weight helps. Okay, so I'm starting to slow down, so I'm going to downshift because I don't want to spin too much. So if you spin too much, you'll ground yourself down and dig a hole. You don't want to dig a hole. There's thickness to mud. And there's also things called, like, dry dirt or dry mud. So if you watch that video I posted, it's going to explain all this stuff here. I'll even explain how to get yourself... Um, out of a bogged down situation. So as you can see, like, look, these are highway tires. Look how thick this mud is. It's almost coming up past. It's almost to the top of the tire. It's past the rim. And I'm still going. I'm still going. I haven't even downshifted to low minus. Let's downshift to low minus. Same thing. Diff lock and added weight. Look how thick that mud is back here. Now I'm sitting in the mud right now. So if I want to get crawl out of this, basically I turn lock one way, drive out, lead my back tires out of this track. And you can see I'm able to pick up speed again. But yeah, um, that's just a quick, quick tip there. Um, I would say don't, don't go and get, a Tega or something like that. Don't listen to folks telling you to go get a, a good truck. You you have everything you need. Um, and this is something I was thinking about today, actually, when I was I was uh, getting ready today. Th there's a th there's a thing is I believe that knowledge is greater than skill in this game. I believe if you just know what to do in a situation, you don't have to be skillful to get through this game. 
But yeah, please go watch that video. It is the probably the the best video I've ever made. I also have a lot of videos on how torque interacts with your gearbox, um, truck reviews, all those things. That's literally my whole YouTube page. But yeah, you're, if you're having trouble, um, so what I so the, the weight on wheels factor. The only only time weight on wheels actually is bad for your vehicle is when your is when your vehicle's frame interacts with the ground surface and you're basically your ground your ground clearance. So, but weight, that's why I always use semi trailers because there's more weight transfer to my wheels. I need to add when there's water. I believe I did in the video. There's there's examples of that. I talk about wet and dry mud. So the wetness, the wetness just makes the mud more slippery. But yeah, I mean, I have, I have strips like that district that have wetness or that are just straight up muddy water. But I mean, here's to a th here's to a certain degree is the highway tires are going to do great. But here's the thing. There is a certain amount of thickness of mud that you're not going to be able to go through because you're, go you're just going to sink too far and you're going to contact, right? No, it's not the same. But when you got roots, oh, that's different. If you got roots, then you just went your way out or you use your crane. I need to get to the field, huh? Oh. Yeah, th those are highway tires. Did you a P16 White Western Star? Yeah, pretty much. Doc, you're gonna you're gonna come across trucks. Probably not. The Fleet Star is gonna be your best option on uh, on Black River. But once once you get to um, Smithfield Dam, and you unlock the White Western Star and you, you start getting its upgrades. I think it by the time when you get its all-wheel drive upgrade and its race suspension, you're pretty much good to go. That's going to be a good upgrade. I don't believe you get its differential locking until, uh, I believe it's Island Lake still. And then you'll get a better gearbox in Drummond Island. So you'll start getting better and better trucks as you go. Yeah, you'll start getting better and better trucks. I got the uphill. Use the same test where Black River is near the garage. Oh, you're talking about going through that muddy strip, the, the, the river, actually going through the river? Yeah, the fleet start, that's crazy, man. <laughs> It's kind of crazy how strong the Fleet Star is. I mean, it's it's kind of wild, actually. Right, I'm actually going to bring this to the other side. And then I'll turn around. This is going to be a lot of back and forth, getting these, these trailers in place and stuff like that. So, yeah, bear with me, guys. I'm going to knock down these fences, even though this is probably all going to reset. Yo, hand from coffin. Thank you for that prime sub. That's right. Prime subs are free. So if you have Amazon Prime and it's attached to to your Twitch account, it's free, and then you don't have any any ads. So enjoy enjoy ad free viewing, my friend. Thank you. Much much appreciated. Oh, that's great. All right, yeah, no worries, man. Um, I usually do. That's how I play. You mean like going to a new map, like a new, like going from Michigan to Alaska? Do I get anything from the subs? I believe I get like 50%. It, it, I think a prime sub isn't on <laughs> A prime sub isn't worth like a regular sub, but I, I do get some type of value. But Twitch basically takes the most of everything. It's kind of it's kind of funny. Um, 
I looked at the revenue I made from yesterday's four hour stream and it was like four dollars. <laughs> I was like, wow, okay. A dollar an hour. <laughs> kind of funny. Yo, Coffin, thank you for those hundred bits. I appreciate it, man. Thank you so much. Much, much appreciated. Farming is only one region. That's probably what I should put. And let's just, uh, that should be like a pinned, co like a pinned comment on, in the chat. I wonder if I can do that. <laughs> Listen, don't quit the game if you, if you see farming. <laughs> I'm sure it's interesting to see, to play, I don't know. Maybe for some other folks, it's probably not that as interesting, but... If you don't like what you see, send me five dollars. So I'll consider your suggestion, yeah. Where am I going? I am bringing all these equipment pieces over here because I don't have any I don't have any farming equipment over here there's none on this map yeah there's no farming equipment anywhere so I have to bring my all my my equipment over okay time for a drink a drink of coffee farming Farming is okay, Doc. Honestly, it's it's okay. It's not really that fun. But I think it was fun for probably like the first first or second time I ran through, and after that I was like, eh. It's just, a, there's just a lot. I don't think it's too bad. It's just there's too much of it. Is that, if that makes sense. I'm gonna grab some gas before I actually head over there and grab the other trailer. It's just too much, that's all. If it would have been, they basically made it so you have to farm on essentially all four. So if I go to these maps, all four of these maps, there's like a bunch of farming missions. So, and then farming just takes time because you have to cultivate it. Uh, what's the other one? Plant and then harvest. You've been trying to get workers and resources? Play for hours, got nothing. It's hard even on easy mode. Wait, wait, what's workers and resources? Which one is that? <laughs> yeah, kind of. 13 farmings, uh, yikes. Yeah, that's that sounds about right. Let's get some fuel. Let me figure out the fastest route to this. Okay, I essentially just gotta go through the field. Wait, there was an ad? How do you have an ad if you subscribe? That's... There's no way. It's like SimCity for maniacs. Wait, which which mission are you on, Coffin? Which one? Okay, I'm on, I'm on the right direction here. I'm on the right direction. What am I doing? Go straight. This is why I should be using markers. It's a sim game, okay. Oh, I got gotcha. you, okay. Okay, so... There's probably some folks wondering why I'm not hooking up to one of these 
and then essentially pulling another one behind it. If you go to my YouTube and you look at my YouTube short that I made the other day, it's my most recent, that is the reason why. Because whenever you tow these things without something that's a tractor or you flip them over, even with a tractor, which, which was here, there you go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> well, I guess uh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I guess it doesn't matter whether or not it was the last thing that touched it. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. This is this is why this this region is kind of bonkers. Okay, so essentially what, what I'm going to do is, this is why I'm going to buy three. So this is why Jigsaw told me to buy three tractors. Because I guess whenever you leave a map, come back and connect to another one, even if it is a, a Kiravets, a tractor, yeah, this is the this is the crap. This is it. Uh, so like now, I have all this equipment. I do have myself a nice little Ford CLT, but I actually have Paystar right here. So we'll just go. Oh, I'm, I'm definitely buying. I'm definitely buying three tractors. They're getting hooked up to those trailers and they're not being disconnected because of that. It's going to happen. I'm not disconnecting those trailers. After I get the Kiravet, the K7M, it's it's just going to happen. You know, I think I think I'm going to tow that trailer behind me. I think if I know that this is going to happen every time I do this, I might as well just do it, right? There's there's no re I mean, if I know I'm going to do this this whole crazy kickflip situation. Like no wonder why no one wants to farm. Really, dude? It's just a bug. It's a bug. Basically. That's why Jigsaw and District were saying to just buy three tractors, keep them permanently hooked up to the trailer so it doesn't happen. But we're going to do that, which I just need to get the, the I just get I have to get the other tractor essentially. Um, it's been a while. To my, to my knowledge, this happened the last time I was here. It's gonna happen again. I have a feeling it's gonna happen again right here. I'm gonna be honest, I, I think that Glades is going to take me longer to finish them than a more. I, I really, I really do. I, I really hate to say that too, but yeah, basically breaks your will. Yeah, essentially. Yeah. Okay, here we go. See what I'm saying, dude? Like, like leave me alone. Leave me alone. <laughs> Every time. Like, no wonder why Saber doesn't want me to play. <laughs> doesn't want, doesn't like me playing their games. <laughs> I'm telling you, that's that's three for three. Look at my Kiravets' 
cap. Look how messed up it is now. Look at it. It's like tilting to the side. That's what I'm saying, man. Okay, I know this is going to happen again, so I don't really care. I'm going to just tow this behind me. I don't know. It's pretty bad, though. I think this is the last time I'll ever play this map. I think ever. <laughs> I think for me to play this map again, I would have to get like 500 subs after this. I think that's pretty much it. It would have to be like a 500 sub give giveaway for this one. Or a Saber sponsored, <laughs> which that would never happen. I don't care. I don't care what this thing does. I don't really care. Hippity hop, hippity hop. He's gonna tip my truck over whenever I hook up. Look at him. Boing. 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 Now if you do remember... I mean, look at the axle. It's all jacked up now. If you, if you guys do remember... The YouTube short is that exact same cultivator that flipped me over. So he's going to get his revenge on me here shortly, so you might want to stick around. So, yeah, he's not he's not really happy right now. It's about to go like Super Saiyan like 5 on me. Dude, it's it's not that hard to get back to your wheels. Okay, there we go. Now you're back. There you go. That wasn't so hard. Ugh. Yeah, I know. It's, it was a pretty good landing. I stuck it, but... I think I'm, what, one for... No, I'm two for three right now on on those. Yeah, I'm two for three on, on those. Currently. Oh, dude. You're, you gotta be kidding me. Does it cost the most? Does it really? Is that even... Is that true? I'm telling you, man. He... That cultivator is not happy. I just, I know it's gonna happen. So like, I know I'm gonna hook up to at least one of these trailers over here whenever I go to farm and it's going to flip my truck. So I just, I just know. at least have a tongue where I can like a winch point that's on the tongue. You know what I'm saying? Like what is this? Like, who signed off on, on like making that? Okay, you're just gonna chill. Okay. He's he's gonna flip me over. I might as well just have a truck ready for that one. When I come back. Thank you, Saber. I appreciate it, man. I appreciate it. I think, uh, I think this probably ranks very low for me right now.
Yo, but at least we have taillights, though. You know what I'm saying? Check that out. Season 8 and Season 4 are the most expensive. Yeah, okay, so then Season 12 is probably going to be the same then. Yeah, it's just because they're called expansions or whatever. That's basically... Every four seasons, it's called an expansion. Cultivate the field. Oh, we're going. Oh, I should have turned there. What am I doing? What am I doing? Is the Tennessee map any good? Um, I think the Tennessee map is a be it's a beautiful map in general. It just uh, it's only one map and it focuses a lot on racing. But other than that, um. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not a lot of, like, big cargo pulls. I don't want to say anything too negative about it, but... I would say it probably wasn't one of my favorites. Honestly, man, I think you're really going to like the rest of Michigan. And I think you're really going to like Alaska and Tamir. I'm going to be real. I've done tier list videos, and I think the base game... I think a lot of folks in here will agree the base game um, is very enjoyable very enjoyable you have a buddy from Chattanooga Tennessee and wanted to get oh nice it probably would be good for actually for multiplayer it would be good because the only way you can actually complete all of Tennessee is you have to do multiplayer that is the only map that you have to do multiplayer to get a hundred percent going to play that Mudrunner new game um, Joe, I actually, I, I am, I am. I, I made a decision that I'm going to at least try it. Um, I did reach out to so, some folks from Focus and Saber, and I asked to see if I could get like a demo to try it out, but um, no one, no one got back to me. So I was hoping that maybe they had maybe a copy of like a demo that they could potentially like allow me to use or try out in some form or fashion, but. Nah, no one, no dice. But I am going to purchase it just to try it. I think it's, uh, I think I should. At, at the least. I think I should just at least try it. Expeditions. Expedition, Expeditions is going to be the new, uh, the new game. Yeah, I just think it would be cool to just, you know, have a demo and try it. And maybe show guys and show everybody on stream and... You know, formulate a an opinion from from you know my perspective, I guess. But you got two months, two months to beat Snowrunners. Oh man, dude, good luck, <laughs> good luck. I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't rush. It's going to take you roughly a thousand hours to to beat Snowrunner. Just enjoy it, man. It is uh, it takes a long time, but it's fun. Oh, you got... Oh, so you have people that play multiplayer then. You know, I wish with multiplayer, man, is, is everyone progressed at the same rate. Like, that's the thing with multiplayer is I can join someone's game, but it doesn't really progress my game. Yes, tasks and contracts give percentages. So do contests. Yep, they all do. I know, right? Oh, I gotta repair again. Yeah, I know, right? Beat Snowrunner, man. Oh, 
Oh, it is plenty. It's going to be plenty of content. It's a lot. It's a lot. Yeah, I'm pretty sure season one or the ga the base game season one through 12 is pretty much a thousand hours to beat. And I would say give or take maybe 200 hours. Depending on how, how good the player is or how fast they go. But I also know people who've spent 300 hours just, uh, and they're still not done with like, uh, Alaska and Michigan, which I, to be honest, I, I probably was one of those guys. <laughs> uh, why can't you go over this? Is there an issue? All right, so you guys ready for more flips? Are we ready for this? More flips. Oh, wait. Doc, are you talking about what I'm doing with my, my gearbox? Like this? This thing I'm doing? Okay, so what that is, that's, that's called clutch bumping. Okay, so you if you probably don't have like a high gear, right? So on, on my videos, on my video, on my videos on high gear and the effects of of what torque is, you'll know that high gear is pretty much like overpowered. But um, what clutch bumping does, so instead of me just using this and allowing the truck to just slowly climb through the gears, I'm literally telling it. Basically, I'm giving the truck the option to shift to whatever it feels more comfortable in the current situation. So if I was like running into mud and my, my, my motor's whining and I already know I'm going to hard downshift, meaning that the, the truck itself is going to stop and downshift the first. So instead of doing that, I preemptively will spam my clutch to force the truck to use basically a smart gear, meaning that it's going to use the, the gear it feels that it can progress through the current terrain at the best rate. Okay, here we go. Ready? There we go. Nice. Can I get this? I land on my wheels. <gasps> All right. Well, that was good. We, uh, we succeeded. I told you that that cultivator would get its revenge on me. Okay. It is really useful. It's, it's especially useful when you don't have like a high gear. Like usually I, I travel in high gear mostly. Like going down trails, I'll just switch like this and then I just, I'm high gear until I start spinning too much. Then I downshift. So. Keyboard mouse, yeah, keyboard mouse is definitely uh, probably a more useful, more useful way, but. So that's the thing. You have to be pretty much, it depends a lot on power. But if you can get into high gear, usually if you can get into second gear, you can switch high gear. All right, I don't know if I'm be able to pull out, pull this thing over. I don't want to disconnect right now, man. Here's why I don't want to disconnect, because I know if I disconnect this thing, I'm going to flippy flippy as soon as I connecty connecty. This way a little bit. Switch this. Dude, this is so stupid. Yeah. 
Yo, good morning, Doc. again right here we go again guys can I get you to flip over all right cool thank you ah need more all right here we go once again Dude, you gotta be kidding me, dude. Do I have to, like, land on- Do I have to get this thing to land on its wheels every time? Okay. I cannot wait. I cannot wait to get the- The K7M. Every time I've hooked up to a trailer today, I'm pretty sure it's done this. Okay, I think that works now. As I'm smashed. No, both of them do it. But the thing is, I definitely do not want to do this with the big tractor. Because good luck tipping over the K7M with double tires if it does end up on its uh end up on its its helmet. So So, yeah, we're going to we're going to attempt to not do that. I'm not even going to repair this right now. Yeah, you you just literally have to have three tractors. They need to always be hooked up to these trailers at all times. Oh, I'm going to take a sip of coffee, guys. You no longer want to do farming? Yeah. Well, you're going to see the actual farming, but you see how long it took me just to get that all ready, but... I think now we should be good because we're on the same map. I'm probably going to flippy flippy again when I connect to other trailers, but... How long have, been, have I been out of the Air Force? I've been out of the Air Force since February 2019. Oh, you think it's it's because of the uneven terrain too as well? As you're probably right. You're probably right. Yeah, it's pretty easy to reproduce this bug. Pretty easy. So now I'm kind of wondering here. I'm wondering if I bring my 5600 and use that as a fuel carrier down here. Um, I need I need a fuel truck for this for the, for farming on this map, and I don't know if I want to use the 5600 TS yet. Yo, do you guys? Should I use this? You guys want to see me use the C, the set the seven seven zero G as a fuel tra fuel truck? What do you guys think? Yeah. Okay, we can do that. Might as well, right? Florida Everglades map, man, that'd be crazy, right? It didn't glitch for you every time, Derek. I I, I envy you in the highest right now. <laughs> All right, guys, check it out. I haven't pulled him out since Wisconsin. Wow. All right, fuel. Let's roll out.
Yo, what's up, Tukuzuki? Welcome in. Happened a few times. Yeah, thick boy right here. Alright, let's go fill him up with some gas and then we'll head over to. Look at this monster. You got gifted the Mastodon? Oh, dude. I would, I would, I would stay. It's too strong. It's too strong. I would stay away from the Mastodon for a while. If I was a new player, I, I think. Yeah, I don't know. I think everybody knows my thoughts on, on that truck and on. I think it just, it kind of strips away learning the game. Because it's just a, a plug-and-play, hit the gas and go. Um, it kind of is. It kind of is a cheat code. The King of the Hill area? Oh, that's funny. That's funny. Alright. Doesn't this thing have the biggest fuel tank in the game? 141 is the biggest right now. I think the Kenworth is like second, right? That, that check? You bought it as a new player, you don't really use it. You love how fat this thing is? Yeah, it's it's pretty it's pretty fat. It's actually not too slow either. That's a crazy thing. The Tega, the 605R, the Azov 64131, um, even the Voron D as a starter truck, which you can get as a starter truck, is still OP too as well. The Paystar is OP as a starter truck as well. I love this. I'm, I'm so glad we're using this, guys. Chevy Scout's good. Fleet Star's a good truck, too. I think, man, it's it's all about... It's all about your perspective, man. If, if you're... If you're patient and you want to understand... I think the thing is, if you, if you really can make the Fleet Star work to great effect, you, you pretty much can make every other trucks that comes after it it basically a lot easier. You know what I'm saying? The fleet start definitely it forces you to learn the game, that's for sure. Yeah, that's the thing. A lot of people don't really use scout stock. Um It's actually good to see that you actually do. Usually people just use the bigger trucks to scout. I try to use the scouts to actually do those those type of things. But yeah, the scouts that there is really not a huge demand or just a huge um, impact on the overall game for scouts. That's kind of the, the thing. Man, just the smashing, the smashage on the chin. I think the only way that you could potentially play this game I think someone said it the other day like the best advice I could give is just not buy any DLCs just buy the base game and play it and play the base game through and if you like it buy DLC one or like buy year one all right Let's use this behemoth to get over there. I'm 
The loaf for life. Yeah, we use the loaf a lot, actually. Whoa. Steering, the steering. That's why I think, man, the golden days of SnowRunner were essentially 2020. <laughs> What's up, Giuseppe? It is chunky, right? This is the 770G. This is from season three, actually. The Des Moines, yeah. Dude, take me back in World of Warships when, when the Des Moines was tanky. You know what I'm saying? As well. There's another one. Take me back, man. Okay, let me not bust myself up on this thing. Whatever that is. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to... Then you sold it. Yeah, I decided to keep it. It's uh, all right. Let's go. I'm gonna do clockwise. All right, let's go cultivating. Is that morning or is this? Is this? Am I transitioning to night right now? Which one is it? You guys remember? Anybody remember? morning okay good let's do the outside here oh i'm getting rid of this we're, we're buying three tractors man we're buying two tractors as soon as i get done with this stuff oh it was night on my way here okay good kind of like all blends together get out of my way fence Get out of my way. Yeah. Honestly, man, I don't like the direction Wargaming is going with World of Warships, man. I think even more so with these new changes of subs and, and CBs. I don't know. It's, it's tough. I think that the best way to play World of Warships is ranked. Small matches. Um... It's always bedtime when you're farming. Yeah, basically. I know, right? All right, so I'm gonna go over here. Start. I do play WoW. I I, I haven't played Sod. I haven't played Season of Discovery now. Um, I'm kind of skeptical in Season of Discovery because I I was a hardcore. I was WoW hardcore actually. I played WoW Hardcore whenever it was on Blood Sale. Um, I got to, got to level 56 and died. And then I started over. We'll go, go center. And then we'll make some different swoops. But yeah, I think... Like I have people on Season of Discovery are like soloing. I think I saw Zaryu like solo Shadowfane Keep. And I was like, dude, this is not cool. Like... A level 25 should not be able to solo this. Yeah, what's up, Larpop? Welcome in. I know, man. I don't know. Yeah, it's crazy, right, Giuseppe? I don't... I'm just... I don't know. I do play a little bit of ranked. I prob probably is not as much as I, I probably could. Yeah, I did Hardcore Classic. Definitely love hardcore classic. I used to be huge into like competitive, like World of Warcraft Arena and stuff like that back in the day. Huge and competitive on World of Warships as well. Well, not really huge, but I was getting heading that way. Yeah, in the afternoons, time to time, like if I'm not doing anything for for like this game or. Creating content and stuff like that, usually I'll I 
favorite class? Wait. Oh, sh on on uh, on Warcraft Shaman. I, I used to play Resto, Resto Shaman, but on Classic for sure. I like I like Shaman. You know, I, I wanted for Season of Discovery. I just wanted them to tweak some of the the talent trees just a tad. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't. I didn't want Warlock tanks, Rogue tanks. Like I just wanted maybe make Paladins a little bit more tankier in some some areas and just. Overall, just a little bit different. Not a complete overhaul or just giving them skills that were a part of the game in retail. Like, uh, how do I say this? Uh, I mean, I could go into it, but I mean, I'd ha I probably should be in, like, doing a World of Warcraft stream to talk about this, like, in, in an entirety, but... Yeah, I felt like there should have been like small changes made just to give for balancing and then, you know, add content like like Mount Hyjal and stuff like that, right? Because we didn't get that before like the Burning Crusade came out. So that, those are things I wanted to see, but they just went in a completely like crazy direction where I just don't know if it's if it's really something I'd like to do. They, they have epic items at level 25. Like, what? Are you serious? Thanks, man. I'm trying to do something different where you basically, like... Um, okay, so now I'm kind of... I'm lined up good here. So I'll come out of this, this one, and then I'll basically arc over to the other side. So this is actually a good field for the K7M. Because it has a wide, a wide turning circle. You like to see a stream where I discuss and play? So currently, I have a level 40 shaman on the official hardcore server. But Sod, Sod has kind of like stripped everyone who was playing hardcore. Now they're all playing Sod. So it's like, it's kind of hard to get groups, you know what I'm saying? Change Twitch name to farming? Yeah, I know, right? You like how it looks? You like how farming looks? Farm, I probably get some, some farm sim fans that'll come in here and just tear me up, you know? Anybody in here play farm sim? Yes, Sot has, you know, mages or healing now, like, it's just it's it's getting too much man it's basically becoming like retail where a class doesn't it doesn't really even matter what class you play because you can just do everything you know what i'm saying like there's there's no reason like there's no class diversity like here's another good point is giving giving dru druids getting wind fury like druids getting wind fury like that's that shouldn't be a thing like that was the strength of the horde like shamans having wind fury totem was like a huge thing, right? Because we didn't we didn't have paladins and like the pally buffs and stuff like that. So like Wind Fury Totem was like a huge buff. But now like druids can get can get Wind Fury Totem basically, and it's like why even use a shaman? <laughs> You're playing farm sim right now? Oh man, you love D and D, but you also seem hard to get into. I mean, I used to actually play d and I'm not even joking. I would come home from like football practice and we would play d and I watched like Dragon Ball Z and stuff. Man, I was like a super nerd. Not even joking. You're hijacking the stream to force me to play, to play WoW. <laughs> I've kind of done something like that, Doc. All right, guys. Am I going to flip this over again? Should we? Uh, please, no. Wait, wrong side. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I'm... Yeah, people kind of... I, I got that a lot, hand, coffin. It's all right. No, I used to... I mean, like, I used to play... 
3.5 D&D, like back in the day. Like I think 3.5 was the last good version of it, to be honest. Um, you know, I think we had like over a hundred books that we acquired over the years. Hold on a second. Let me see if I can just line this up so it doesn't like lose my stuff here. All right, here we go. Ready and go. <gasps> wow. It's a new and improved planter. Guys, have we turned a corner? No, 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 no. You're not gonna do that. You're not gonna do that to me. You're not gonna do that to me. Not today. I'm trying to get this like all. Like, I, I'm honestly, like, I have a, a hard drive that still has all the D&D books. I'm talking, like, even, like, the crazy ones. 3.5. I mean, I've definitely made some crazy characters. And we've played, I mean, like, dude, we would, we would have campaigns that would essentially last. Like, we would invite our friends over, and we would have a campaign, and my older brother was was the DM most of the time. So we would have campaigns that went from like one o'clock to like two or three in the morning. You know, like stop to get like coffee and pizza. Yeah. But like, those were the days, man. Wait, what's ESO? What's ESO? Ever? It's not EverQuest, right? I played EverQuest, I think, online, or I forget when that was. Before. Not much, though. Oh, man, we, we used to, like... Yeah, it was crazy. Yo, JJ Will, thank you for stopping in. How are you doing as well? I'm doing well, man. Thank you for stopping in Elder Scrolls Online yeah oh Elder Scrolls Online I haven't played Elder Scrolls Online no the only Elder Scrolls game I played was Skyrim and man I, I put in some work on that one I put in some work on that one okay I'm just gonna hit this this side here and then we'll run down the middle, essentially. Skyrim is the goat. Dude, Skyrim is, is awesome. I'll just kind of go like this. I don't want to, like, keep this... What's that? No, I guess, I guess so. We kind of did like a role-playing thing where basically we, a truck was dedicated to the purpose that it was basically used for in real life. And that's kind of what we use it for in SnowRunner. So I did like a co-op with a friend who basically helped me make that same video I posted you, posted to you and other videos as well. a multiplayer? You mean in SnowRunner? Uh, I believe up to four people, actually. If I'm not, if I'm not wrong. I think four people. I'm 
trucker call signs. That's funny. Yeah, four can play. Honestly, Coffin, I've debated <laughs> bringing in folks for for farming just to do this faster. But there was a lot of people that, that said I should just do it alone, suffer. People love to suffer. They love to see me suffer for some reason. Yeah, too bad it was single player. Embrace the suck, yeah. Kind of, yeah. Five percent. There's no reward without some pain, it's true. I feel like I should be taking water passes, to be honest. But it's all good. get a trucker's playlist that's funny just farming along you know Look up how to get CB sound effects. You like the farming dog, Doc Jones? You are you are one of the minority, man. But I respect that. I respect that. Okay, this should be this should be it. Ninety nine. Hundo. GG. Get out of here. Uh, which which side is the connection? I think the connection point is on this side. I always get this wrong. Yeah, it is. Okay. This one's the easiest trailer to deal with, honestly. All right, time to harvest, boys. Did I fix the bug? I don't know if I fixed it, but it resolved itself. Look at all those potatoes. You're telling me I only get two pallets of potatoes from all this? Like, that's a pallet of potatoes right there. Seriously. Get off of me. Get off of me. Five minutes of growth, that's right, yeah.
What is Tather's precious? What is Tether's precious? Okay, last little pass here. And then we start really monkeying around. Which is pretty good. 33% just on the outsides. I don't know. You know, another, another cool game. Um, actually, I think it, I think it was just I found it cool because it was it was it was really hard with Dark Souls. Honestly, like I talk about this a lot, but I think SnowRunner's best days were in 2020 when it felt like Dark Souls. Like I legitimately was terrified. This, this is going to sound really crazy, okay? And I, it sounds like I'm, I'm, I'm being... How do I say this? Uh, like I'm exaggerating. But I, I'm really not. I, I would I would be kind of fearful to leave the garage if I knew that I was going into like a swampy area. Because I just... You're so new to the game, man. Like I was a brand new player. I never played this entire series. So I, I didn't understand this stuff. So it was, it was kind of crazy. I don't know. It was weird. I don't know, I definitely found it really to be really, really tough for me. Some sort of timer? Oh, dude. I, yeah, I, I guess, yeah, I guess, but then again. Yeah, this, this part of the field over here is not fun. Because I have to, like, back up. You didn't realize the DLC trucks in the garage? That's the thing, like in 2020, there were no DLC trucks in the garage. You see what I'm saying? Like you didn't have help. It was, you got what you found. So it, you know, it was back when there wasn't a lot of information out too as well on SnowRunner. So I think it was a really fun time. Even though I kind of, I kind of ruined it because it, it was so hard that I, I essentially got, you know, good trucks, right? You guys all, all kind of know that. And then I, I just ruined it. But uh, I think if I would have stuck it out, I think that's that's my, my biggest regret is if I could go back, I would have never purchased the Paystar. I would never purchase the Azov. Um, especially I would, I would have just gotten them when I got there or purchase them when I got there. I mean, that's the thing, man, is like, that's why videos like that, that pop off on most games. It, it's, it's really the selling point on that a lot of YouTubers use is this is the best of this best early starter whatever and man like because if you get it into a game that's pretty tough you figure out something that's going to work for people starting out dude they chew it up yeah honestly season players and that's the thing i usually someone it's not that how do i say this people have said that like i i i'm, I'm like i'm telling them I'm telling them not to, or I'm telling them how to play the game, but it's not necessarily I'm telling you how to play the game. I'm telling you not to make the mistakes that I've made. So essentially my advice is coming from me having a mistake I've made and just trying to impart some type of wisdom from a mistake I made. Are we done? No, not yet. Not yet, man, not yet. And we have ourselves a harvest field.
Nice, dude. Nice, dude. Wait, I got a question. You know what I don't know? Can we... And I forget this. It sounds terrible. I'm going to say this, but I, it's kind of terrible. Oh, wait. I have to produce potatoes. So I need to go take this to the north side, right? First, I need to get gas. Yeah, I need to get gas. So hold on. Um, The 770G can't haul a trailer, can it? I don't think it can. Dude, I was going to say, if it could, I was going to use it to do missions. Okay, Alright, so that's that. I need to get a truck to take these potatoes to where they go. One goes there. Deliver to the northern and southern. Do I have a two slaughter? No, just the rock trailer kind of sucks. Do I have a two slaughter here? P12, the multi-purpose add-on. Yeah, that could be a good option. I'm currently using him though as a... Uh, Ah, uh, what am I doing? P12, you can get behind this. Alright, I got an idea, guys. Do you guys want me to... Alright, here, I'm going to take a poll. We're just going to do a poll, and then we're going to go from there. Are you guys ready for this? Let's let's do this, alright? We're going to do a poll, and then we'll talk about this. Okay, what am I doing here? All right, new poll. All right, cool. Here's a poll. Um, we currently have 49 people in the chat. You guys cannot hide. I, I know you're there. So, it's either this. We continue using the P512 to move some cargo before we do our next, uh, or move this cargo and future cargo. Or, we get a new truck out. So based upon this response, a new poll will be rocked. So I need 49 votes. There's 49 people in the chat, I need 49. Massive overkill, you love it, yeah. Multi-purpose add-on's pretty good, man. Really, dude? You really about to do this? Actually, did that poll go through? You have a minute left, guys. You have a minute left on the poll. I only have a handful of votes in right now. If you're in the chat, you can vote and you won't be called out. It's all anonymous. Please do not be afraid. This is a pretty friendly environment. You're safe. <laughs> Come on. 
call you out and you voted Fleet Star? Well, looks like right now it's looking like we're going to get a new truck out. So we're going to throw some trucks up there. All right. So I'm sad. Only 15 of you guys voted. 15 of 49. Can you consider that for the new truck? You want high range? You voted? You voted new? Nice. All right. Let me go back to the garage here. I'm not pulling. Okay, so here's the options. One, I don't think I'm using this. Here's the options. I don't know if I'm going to use the Kodiak. I think it's just too many trucks to get out. All right. I am willing to use either the Step 310 Echo, um, the BM-17, I mean, I could use the Fleet Star. Pole was rigged. <laughs> All right, here's, I'm gonna put the, I'm putting up the, the poll right now. Okay, I'm giving you guys some choices. Uh, let's go BM 17. Okay, there is four trucks for you guys. While that is going on, I am going to continue 605R. No, not that. Here, there we go. Okay, uh, I need to bring this down. Or bring this over to the field to grab these potatoes at the some, yeah, at some degree, yeah. Okay, you have a minute and a half. There's a ton of folks in the chat right now. Suffer our amusement. Let's get some votes in, guys. Let's get some participation. Okay, then vote vote to BM17. We'll do it. All you gotta do. You got 30 seconds left, guys. Choose it. Twenty seconds left. Okay, there's a tie for the BM seventeen and the Fleet Star, so so what is it? Is it we do we vote again or is it a streamer's choice? How nicely I got that fuel trailer in there. <laughs> What's up, Whitefield? Is it streamer's choice or is it another vote? What it, what is it, guys? Is it streamer's choice or vote? Really? Uh, it probably was you. He probably did the last vote. Okay. Flip a coin? You know, that's a good option, actually. I will flip a coin. Is there like a coin flip? Let me see. Hold on a second. There's a, is there a coin flip thing on... on Flip coin. 
All right, here we go. Check this out, guys. I'm going to flip a coin here, right? You guys ready? Can you guys see this? Yes, you guys can see this. Wait, what's going on here? Okay. You have to use both at once. All right, I'm going to flip a coin. All right, here's what it is. Heads is going to be the Fleet Star. Tails is the BM-17. Three, two, one. Fleet start is. Fleet start is, gentlemen, ladies. Honestly, I was actually wanting to use the BM-17 secretly. It's been a while. But we'll have fun with the Fleet Star, even though I don't like low saddle with the Fleet Star. But, and I'll, I'll talk about that here in a second, but that's basically how we're going to use it. We all must live with disappointment. You know, I'm kind of surprised that we had less voters for... Or we had a lot less votes for, you know, a, an awesome truck like the Step 310 Echo. What? No one wanted to see the good old Step come out again? Are you guys sick of seeing the Step? Too easy for me? Is that what it is? You were rooting for the trusty Royal? I appreciate that. You want to see the fleet star in the hands of professional? Well, I don't know if I'm the if I'm the guy, but we'll give it a, we're going to give it a good shot here. <clears throat> no one likes the step as much as I do. Is that true? No one likes the step. That's that's kind of sad. That can't be. That can't be true. So in the heavy, if it was heavy duty, <clears throat> I think this, I think this step, if it if it got put in heavy duty, I think it's the best of them all. All right, we'll swap this out. I'm over here by the garage. We'll go over here. <clears throat> I mean, the step has has good power, has good balance, um, has similar tire options. They're a little bit smaller, but yeah. Power balance and yeah, it's just overall ability is just there. <clears throat> now in the high, in the heavy duty class, yeah, it's probably mid tier. Honestly, I think it's a little bit more than. I think it's a little bit better than mid tier, be just because it's just good, man. It's just a good truck. Um, I need to actually refuel this before this goes back in. You like the step more than the Tega? Nice. <laughs> yeah. Um. Well, here's the thing, man. Uh, but then here's the question, Larpup. Where does the 114 SD rank if it was moved to the heavy duty category? The Mac defense would have been a good choice. I don't have the Mac defense, though. All right. He goes away. And then we get out the Fleet Star. All right, I normally don't like using the Fleet Star. Um, you said duty? <laughs> Heavy duty. Heavy duty. Should I use the Jats? I'm probably going to use the Jats here. We're going to try the Jats out. 
Yeah, we're gonna try Jats out. <laughs> Used the 114 SD in Tennessee. You didn't like it that much. Swayed a ton. Cargo in the bed. Yeah, that's why. I think with cargo in your bed. Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna sway. Most most vehicles definitely are influenced by cargo in their bed. Okay, saddle low. Yeah, it is. It is. I couldn't change. For some reason, I can't change it. So that's that's the picture. It was a, what was it? A, it was like a green tea face rub or something like that. I forget, someone got it for me. I tried it on and basically to confirm that I tried it, I took a picture of it. All right. Why can I not attach trailer? Oh, I'm not far enough back. Dude, that, what's going on? Am I? Wait a second, what's going on here? I don't. I, it, I thought it was low. Did I choose high? Low saddle. It's low. I don't think I need high. Cause look. I was low saddle here. That does look like it's high though. Do I, do I really? But the thing is, how, how is that high? How is that a high saddle when it's, it's, it's literally a low saddle trailer? Something's broke here and someone needs to fix it. I don't think it's a crane conflict. It would have said, it would have said it was a crane conflict. If I can actually back up correctly. There's not even an option. Hold on. I'm gonna re I'm reloading. <clears throat> Blizzard. Seriously, man. What's going on here? Alright, let's go. Load game. You really think it's the crane? But wouldn't it? I'm t I think it would. Usually, it tells you the crane. Like there's a there's a message that comes up here, like on the side. Well, we'll try it. Kind of stinks, though. The, that's exactly why I don't like using this truck with uh, with saddles because the rear overhang is just insane. Because yeah, this just always like, loves the contact, especially going over bumps and stuff like that. But if that's the case, we might have to do two slaughters. 
Still. Oh, you know what? Oh, I know exactly what's going on. I know exactly what's going on. I'm going to show you. I know exactly what's going on. I know exactly what's going on. The Fleet Star is unable to attach. It doesn't have any option to attach a step deck. Yep, it cannot use a step deck. That is the issue at hand. Okay, then do we do we just use the I need a saw. Yes, I do. <laughs> so do we just use the BM 17? All right, cool. Check this out. I'll show you. All right, so we'll go use the BM-17. That's wasted 3,500 getting this thing out. Yeah, no option for it. You like to see what he thinks about the Mac defense? Who, me? So if you type in exclamation mark YouTube, I actually have a review on the Mac defense. And then in the comment section, I have a pinned, a pinned comment on the updates to the Mac defense showing its new buffs. The Mac defense is probably one of the stronger off-road class vehicles right now. <clears throat> to be honest, I think it's S tier. Yeah, just wasted 3,500 getting you out of the garage. And yeah, all right. Back in you go. All right. The BM-17. <clears throat> yeah, if there's, if there's a truck that you want to know what I think about, there is a video posted on my YouTube about it. And then... I would always check either the comment section for a pinned comment or the description of that video because if there has been an update to it, I've literally put uh, URL links in there for update videos. Yeah, they fixed the, they fixed the, the they fixed its coll vehicle collision model across the board. So it is essentially get low. Should I have checked this first? <clears throat> yeah, they, they fixed it. That was the that was a whole issue at hand, essentially. That's where all of its problems derive from. Probably could have used the 08 the JAT OMDs. There we go. Alright, cool. So we run this up to there. And then uh Yeah. <clears throat> no, it wasn't just its bumper. It was the whole frame contact underneath and that's why it was just having trouble in in any type of mud because while having you know a crazy strong engine you know being an 8x8 with you know OHS tires you would one would think that you're just gonna have insane performance right but that was literally the only thing that it was it was lacking was
<laughs> that thing just ran through that. You know, it's actually, this is actually a pretty good looking truck too. I actually enjoy, enjoy the BM-17. <clears throat> Not a lot of folks like this truck actually. Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. Uh, yeah, I guarantee you I'm just going to crush my... Oh, I'm stuck already. The trailer. Yeah, the trailer. Actually, this is a good thing because <clears throat> I think after I pick up this this Caravette, which I think the, the mission to unlock it is actually now, after I complete this, this truck will be close to wherever the potatoes spawn after I do this next field. And I'll be able to take those for this last con track. No, I mean task. There we go. All right, cool. <clears throat> See? There's another task available in Heartlands. Doesn't seem like the locals were moved in the slightest by your example. What? More like they expect things to be done for them from now on. Oh well. Whatever. What's up, Victor? Welcome in. <clears throat> okay, so here's the mission called the Common Cause. Okay. Common cause is going to be done. Okay, well. Rescue with the 770G? Oh, I find this very fitting. Skirt! I know, right? So I got, where I gotta bring him all the way up? Oh, this is gonna be nice. Let's go. This is good because I can move my my fuel truck. Mm. 
Really? Oh, that's good. I'm gonna jump up. Dude, are you serious? You're not gonna tip over? I'm gonna take a photo of this. This is uh this is kind of uh not something you see every day. <laughs> Seven seven zero G tackling. I like it. I like it, man. This is. I don't get to take pictures of the seven seven zero G much. You know what I'm saying? Stand up. Let's go. Let's, we're sick of you. <clears throat> Alright, uh... I go all the way up. Let's go. What in the world? Are you serious, man? Okay, dodge of the tree. I know, right? Brilliant. Yeah, I did, Victor. I did. I thought, uh... I might go this way, actually. We might go this way. Try something new. You know what I'm saying? Straighten out the tire. I can straighten out my tires. I guess I'm gonna go straight here and then turn back. That's the issue, man. It's not having all wheel drive. Don't really have any power into your turns. And crack my head. Oh, never mind. I'm good. Dude, I feel like this thing is just a big turtle. Like, it looks like a turtle. Big Top. That's what we should call him, Big Top. Old Big Top. Wait, I think... What, what, what tire size? Is this... Hold on a second. I want to look at something real quick. I think the Kiravets has the the biggest tires in the game, or it's it's either they're tied or they're the biggest. I know that I know, but the seven seven zero G used to be the largest. Seventy fours, yeah, and then seventy nines. That's right. Okay, go Kiravets. I think I think they're seventy nines. Actually, let's see. Where's the Kiravets at? What? Oh. Yeah. Craziness. Dude, 
Can I get a turn? <laughs> Can I just get a turn? Is that truck? Okay, he's still on. Okay. <clears throat> good, 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 good. I don't think the burlap does. I don't think the burlap does. I think it has like 70... Definitely has 70 inch. It might be 71s. If I'm if I'm if I'm remembering correctly, I think it's 71s. <clears throat> but I mean, who's rescuing who right now? Do you know what I'm saying? Like, what is going on? I feel like I'm just. Here, Vets is just rescuing me. Come on, Kiribats. Just hit the gas. <laughs> Come on. Boink. Oh, I didn't do that. Okay, never mind. Oh no, don't tip. Don't tip over. This would be a nightmare. Okay, just chill, dude. Okay, whoo. He was like underneath my back tires. That's risky, bro. I need a turn. I need a turn. Merry Christmas, Jigsaw. Thanks for stopping in, man. <clears throat> we will see you definitely after Christmas then. Appreciate it, brother. I actually will not be streaming tomorrow at all. I am actually going to be on the road. So... Merry Christmas. Actually, hold on. Turn off that engine. Turn off that engine. Swap to this truck. Detach trailer. Go over to this repair trailer and repair him.
Oh yeah, there's gonna be a lot. <clears throat> there's gonna be a lot. The good thing is, I think we're leaving in the morning, so... Hopefully, uh... That helps to mitigate some of that. Let's get repair. Ooh, wow, that really uh, took it all, huh? Or most of it. Deliver to the center. <sighs> I have to deliver this thing to the service center now? Are we, are we kidding? <clears throat> okay. After being a load smasher, <laughs> after being a load master, uh, at first I attempted to get into the uh, pilot industry. When I got out of the Air Force, I went to, I moved to Arizona. I enrolled in probably one of the, the best aviation schools in the country, actually in the world, Embry-Riddle. And I started taking, I got my private pilot license before I went to Embry Riddle. And then um, I enrolled there. I started another, because there's different certificates you get. But Embry Riddle has like a program where you, you get your certificates and you also get, get a degree. Okay. And it's a very prestigious degree, very prestigious program. And. I went there, I started my, I believe it was my instrument. So I had my private, I moved on to my instrument. And I started a few, a few sims and I got to my first flight and just the cost of, of that school. The cost of that, it's a private school, so it costs a lot of money. So, um, because of my service, the Air Force paid for it, but also paid for like half. But then there was a yellow ribbon program. However, they would not pay for my flight training. So that was all taken out by like loans and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, I, ran, I basically ran out of money and I decided I was going to just switch over and do like drones because they, they had a drone program there but I, I kept my aeronautics degree and I just did a minor in drones a minor in UAS which is unmanned aircraft systems which is drones um so can you push me and so I graduated there um took me about like six months to find a job and then, yeah. yeah, it took me like six months to find the job, worked for a robotics company. I traveled for like 365 days of that year. I worked for them for about a year and almost five months, year and four months, year and five months, something like that. Um, I got laid off because I, I, we decided to move back to Ohio. So I wasn't really in the Boston area or even in like any type of, we still lived in Phoenix at the time, but we decided to move back in like 2022 I got laid off in 2023 so I'm still trying to get back into a career field that's kind of focused around aviation I usually go on trip you leave around zero four that's a good time to leave honestly your dad has his pilot license Piper Cherokee nice man that's awesome so yeah it's just I think it's just tough for the drone industry, like where I'm at. Yeah, it sucks, but it is it is what it is. Okay, cool. 
Um, I'm wondering, I'm wondering something. I'm wondering if I do something here. So let's go maps. I think it's in Har is it Harvest Corp? Is the last upgrade in Harvest Corp? Or is it not? I don't think there is another upgrade in Harvest Corp. Is it the Institute? Yeah, that's what I thought about doing. <clears throat> I thought about doing that. Um, but the only thing is the, the there's there's actually the only competition in this area is pretty good competition because the the person actually has um like his drone essentially is like fifteen thousand dollars. I have my own drone. I have a DJ, a DJ, a DJI four mini, which is really good, but I don't have any type of thermal imaging. And a lot of things that he does is, um, the person that does it out here so far, that would be my competition. He basically goes and finds people's dogs as well. He does real estate, all of their stuff too, as well, but he goes and finds people's dogs that are missing because he has thermal and or he finds their hunting kills so if somebody like shoots a deer and they can't track it down he goes out with thermal camera so yeah dji mini 4 pro yeah i don't know if i have the pro i'm not sure but okay so what i'm gonna do is i'm taking this back i'm outfitting it with everything i have and I'm pretty much buying two more of these. I'm selling my other Forester, or my other tractor. So we'll essentially have, yeah, three of these. But yeah, I think what, I'll, what I might do is, um, but also here's the thing, if I start getting into that stuff, because I'm, I'm going to have like another career, which is going to be my main career, um, like that business would be something I do on the side. So it, it's, it's like this, it's like, it's either I, it's either I choose a YouTube and content creation, or I totally give up content creation and go after, um, doing you know imagery with with a drone as my side gig so i can't do them both just too much too much time you know just wait way, way too much time yeah they do i just don't know if they have it out here it's because like, i live in like rural ohio right customize We'll put that in, sell that. I'll go advanced special actually. Stock, leave them, doubles. Not worrying about that, leave that. Okay, we're gonna do one yellow. <laughs> Disabling, always on diff. I don't even think you can disable, you can't even disable it. You can't even disable it. In the files, you probably could. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. I'm going to grab the K700. I'm going to drop this trailer. I'm going to come back to the garage. Oh, it's an XML edit, okay. You're in Pickerington, basically Columbus. Oh, nice, man. Yeah, that's the thing, like down there, like big cities, jobs are just, just, or opportunities that are in like tech and stuff like that with like drones and stuff like that is just a lot more prevalent. And then you're off till next year, nice man. Yeah. I definitely, if you if you do plan on doing that, drummer, I would uh, 
definitely get your pilot, your certified commercial drone license. Because if the FAA would catch you, and the thing is, there's there's what people don't know is like, you, to get paid for a business, you have to have a commercial license. So if they catch you flying without a without a drone license, uh, it's pretty bad. Because there, there definitely are, are a lot of rules to flying UAS. You looked into it? Okay, good. What's up, Justy? Welcome in. Yeah, I'm up north. Northeast. Yeah, so it's it's just... Uh, that's the thing, man. We we moved home and we kind of understood that... Uh, that's how that's kind of how it was going to be. I'm trying to think here. I need to transfer. Let's see if I can transfer some of this fuel out. If I want to come back to Lackland, oh my goodness, yeah, man, I've been in Lack. I was in Lackland for a while too. Yeah, if I'm ever, ever out that way, good old Lackland. There, I'll fill that. Just fill that. Top that off. I am 47%. Okay, store, truck storage, I'm gonna sell you. I'm probably only gonna get 80, 80K. Actually, it's not bad. It's not bad. Okay, truck store. Here's what sucks. Here's what sucks, but we're gonna do it. Because I'm, I'm having, I'm using three of these. He'll be red. It hurt. That definitely hurt. Only having 400,000 right now. Probably I'm going to have under that here in a second. Yeah, that, that definitely hurts. Can't, still can't find the new tractor. Yeah, it's locked. It's locked behind a mission. Uh, I believe it's called 30 Years Harvest or something like that. Okay, this one will be blue. Okay, cool. All right. Turning. The turning is terrible. Alright, so now we take this over to the farm. We basically set up. It's crazy. It, it's it's a terrible turning circle. I, I spent a ton of cash. Oh man, this is, this is... I gotta find a better route. It's a tough thing, man. Now that now all the shortcuts kind of like diminish. Yeah, not good. I have to go back. <clears throat> I have to go back. Go around this house, maybe. There might be something.
Can I get through there? Maybe. It is kind of crazy looking. Okay, this is it right here. Yeah, it's, it's performance is great too. Like this is gonna help out a lot whenever the final field gets so muddy. This will just go right through it without any, any issues. K700 tends to slow down a little bit just because the, the field gets torn up so bad. But this kind of just chugs it. So it's, it's nice. But we'll sell it when we're done. I'll get some some money back, but only 50%. But to, <laughs> to basically not have to deal with the glitching of hooking up trailers whenever you come in contact with them after switching maps, this this is the this is the fix. This essentially is the fix. Yeah, I know, right? Sunflower farmer. <laughs> uh, let's go back to the garage. Old Yeller here. It's true. Ah, uh, it's like this. Here we go. All right, we have our three tractors for the remainder of Glades. It doesn't end well for Old Yeller. <laughs> okay, can I turn? Okay, never mind. I guess I can't. Tractor gang, coming in strong. Yo, what's up, Reaper? Good morning. That was my turn. No. Get out of my way. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Rubber would be sanding off the tires. Yeah, basically. Get a turn. Can I get a turn? Can I get a turn? Probably gonna have to drive this separate through this little gap here. I have a feeling. Okay, we'll go separate, and then we'll just reconnect. Wiggle all the way home, right? Only thing is, the engine's not too strong. I only have the second, but the, the last one is not strong at all either. It says it's the K. What's it called? The 530 Tango, but it's not. It's just a placeholder. It's not even the same engine. I think people think it's the same engine, but it's, it's really not. I think it only has like 170,000 torque or something like that. If I remember off the top of my head. 
So many numbers. Can I actually get through here without cracking my tire on this... On those potatoes? Why can't I use those? Nasty farming crew, though, I'll tell you that much. You know what I should have done? This is gonna sound really weird. I'm gonna color code these. You know what's crazy? Is I picked out colors that literally match all these trailers. Cultivator is yellow. Planter is blue. <laughs> Harvester is red. I like it. Hundred seventies talking top engine, yeah, I thought so. Tractor gang, let's go. Yeah, I'm not worried about the top engine. Honestly, it's not really gonna make much of a difference. The only time I'm using this thing is on Flatland, yeah. Power Rangers Tractor Edition, yeah, essentially, right? Get, move. Move, move, move. How am I gonna even back this up? All my equipment is green. Just 30 years old. <laughs> Screenshot the gang? I will. I probably will at some point. Maybe when we pull up to the next, uh, the next place. Okay, cool, 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 cool. So essentially, all these tractors, they need to go to this farm pier for grocery run. I think so. They probably were. They, they probably were tech. Yo, worship tech. Welcome in, guys. Um, before I do this, I'm going to take a quick bathroom break, and then I might grab some coffee, and we'll head up. And uh, I'm probably going to do this field. So, all right, guys. I will be back in a minute.
All right, welcome back. Let's let's do this. Take a sip first of this coffee. Okay. Thank you, thank you. Here's what we'll do. We're going to do this. Uh, we'll take... Yeah, we'll take blue and red. Blue ranger, red ranger first, you know what I'm saying? And then we'll just uh, do it up. Basically, like, up, up to here. And then, boom, over to the field. More potatoes. <laughs> Look at this, dude. Is that the gang right there? <laughs> yeah, we definitely spent some dimes on some tractors. <laughs> Thick daddy tires, yeah, all right. I'm pretty sure this truck has some of the best. Wow. Mud performance in the game, actually. <clears throat> yeah, I'm pretty sure this beats actually every every truck in the game with mud performance. Just straight up through like the super mud. Yeah, honestly, LARP up, I, I, I want to buy the those as well. I want to buy the, the Western Stars, but I just can't, man. I, don't, I, don't, I definitely don't have the cash now. Maybe after this region, whenever I can, like, sell all these off. What's going on here? Oh, I don't have his engine on. That's why. That's why. Uh, hello? Can I move? Is this real life right now? I probably need that top engine so bad, maybe. How how am I not able to like move up this? There we go. That's better. Yeah, I could do that. What is going on here, dude? Is this, is this craziness? Do I really need that top engine that bad? Is, it, is this really a thing? The trailer's stuck? Is that what it is? That's not good. I know, right? I guess for this hill. I guess whenever we, we get the Harvest Corp, maybe we'll just upgrade the engines or something like that. 
Star Twitch streamer doesn't have top engine? Yeah, I know. I think it's over at the Institute, and I couldn't wait. <laughs> so, the color codes? Yeah, right? I do, on, the crazy thing is, I didn't, I didn't even know that I was actually color coding them. Um, the same as the trailer codes, the, the color codes of the trailer until I got to the field. And I was like, wait a second. <laughs> let's just, uh, let's do this up. This thing just doesn't care about mud. Just chews it up. Not a care in the world for mud. You know, the good thing is, is the year three maps give a good bit of, uh, good bit of cash, so. You got some time. I probably shouldn't go this way, but it's okay. Hopefully I have the power to get over this. That's right. That is right. Honestly, I think I have to do this field twice. I think there's two missions over here. Or maybe the grocery run? Oh, you know what? I actually do have to do this twice because I already have a task for potatoes. And... Oh wait, maybe I already delivered those. No, I think I delivered those. Never mind. <clears throat> Still, I think I might have to do this twice. I'm not going to be happy about that. Army Guard, Guard Reserve Drone Programs? <sighs> yeah, I probably could qualify for being an officer. I think... Uh, <clears throat> the thing is, I think after I got beat up in the military, just from my body getting torn up, um, when I decided to get out, that was basically it. Um, I had plans to, to go back to school and stuff like that. What's up, Snack Pack? Welcome in. What do I think about the new Expeditions game? I did see the trailer. Yeah, I did see him. I... How do I say this? I don't want to be a skeptic. Um, I think I've been a little bit more skeptical than, than most people. I think this though, I think uh, I'm going to give it a shot. I'm going to give it a shot. I think, I think it would be wrong for me to make an assumption on something I haven't even played. So I think I think I, it behooves me to, to at least give it a shot in some aspect. Turn off engine, turn off engine. Back to the other K7M. Yeah, this one here. And then we bring this one over. But yeah, coffin. Um yeah, I, I when I first joined up in the military, I made a decision that I was gonna do six years and I was gonna get out finish my degree which I did that uh, with honors graduated you know top of my class summa cum laude so and yeah just the being in the military it was like how do I say this man they own you <laughs> like okay let's just chill the military essentially owns you, owns you. Um, you do what they say and 
you can never say no to things. Like there, there's times that you could say no to some things, but in essence, you just can't, right? So you essentially give up a lot of your freedoms to be in the military. But I think after I got out, I understood like what it meant to have all that back. I think like citizens and civilians don't really understand like you give up a lot to to go serve and it's it's just nice to to do it but it's also it's definitely nice to be out yeah the tire inflation thing there that's kind of something they're bringing back from from mudrunner yeah i was just part of the plan what's up storm welcome in this day has been cranking along yeah man Honestly, I think this might be my last stream before before Christmas. Yeah, it's yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, man, I, I was a, I was a guy who I wanted I wanted to be a nurse. Uh, I went to nursing school. I, I failed out. Um, had a bunch of deaths in my family, in my immediate family, and then I decided I was going to I was going to go serve because I wanted to get my college paid for. I wanted another shot. You know what I'm saying? And I wanted to prove that I wasn't just uh, I wasn't what my grades essentially said that said I was back you know, when I first started college, so. Yeah, when I went to the military, I, I totally, I was still who I was. It wasn't like I changed who I was. It just, I, I decided, I made a conscious decision that, you know, I was going to do the best I could. And that's what I did. I went there, I did the best I could. And I graduated with honors, low master school. I got 100% on every one of my tests. Um, became an instructor. Yeah, so. Oh no, dude, you don't have to. You don't apologize. <laughs> You're totally good. You're, you don't apologize. Don't don't apologize. But yeah, it's tough, man. It's tough when you can't get help whenever something like that happens. You fell asleep? No, not yet. Well, to be honest, I never think I actually when I got my EPRs. I never actually, the person who was ranking me, they never actually gave me all fives. With the old system, I would, because they kind of gave everyone all fives, right? It's like, almost like a participation trophy, but with the new system, no, I wouldn't. But I would never rank myself all fives. You know, there's a lot of places I, I felt I was like a three. Oh man, thank you, thank you, Storm. Likewise, man. Likewise, thank you. Absolutely, man. I really appreciate that. That means a lot. That means a lot, man. I wish you a, uh, a Merry Christmas as well. You and your family. And everybody in, in the stream. That's even, that's even watching and not watching. Alright. Um... So lastly, before I start this whole whole thing, I need to bring my 770G over. <laughs> no, dude, you're you're fine. I'm I'm totally cool with talking about old old memories. I have a lot of stories about, about the military. <laughs> All right, Victor. Merry Christmas, man. Thank you for stopping in. Thank you, Larpup. Merry Christ Christmas as well. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. I know. I can't believe it's Christmas, honestly. It's it's crazy how fast time has gone. Let's see. Fill them up. I am using this as a fuel tanker. Just to switch it up. Just to switch it up.
And of course, nighttime approaches. She's gonna take her driver's license test? What? Isn't that crazy, man, how time flies like that? It's crazy, dude. You know, I, I, I remember being in high school and hearing people, you know, people with actually have wisdom saying, you know, there's going to be a day when you miss this. Right now you hate being here, but like you're going to miss this one day. Or you're going to miss being a young kid because, you know, life flies. Like, time starts to fly after this. And the crazy thing is I, I always thought, like, you know, when you're young, stupid, you think you're smarter, you think you're wiser than everybody else. Yeah, I thought the same. And boy, was I wrong. Wait a second here. Okay, so good. Grocery run is already there. Appreciate it, District. Thanks for stopping in, man. Merry Christmas as well. Much appreciated, man. Thank you. Out in the field. There it is. All right, now let's back up. I'll fill these guys up. <laughs> Just make sure she doesn't take the driving exam pointers from Nathan. <laughs> Dude, that's that's funny. Yeah, seriously, don't don't let her get any tips from the channel for driver's license or that that one. That's funny, man. That's great. That cracked me up. Ah, uh, no, you know what? I should go like this. We'll like, put some of this fuel. Actually, I can I can actually move this. Wow, that's weird. I can kind of like pivot. The crew, yo, here's the crew right here. Might get a picture of this, actually. She drives great, that's good. Dude, this is... funny <laughs> do you know how long it took to get this pick <laughs> all right here we go Honestly, I'm just gonna take. I'm just taking passes with this. I, I, I don't think I can. I can operate the same way I do with the K7M as I did with the K700. I'm just gonna take passes, like straight up. Yeah, I will definitely, man. Absolutely. Oh, dude, no. Maybe this is this is a trap. Why would you put a B field right here? Nope. I'm gonna get high centered. Get off of me. Are you serious right now? We just got halted by... Boxes. These look like stools. 
Like my wife has those. Like what? What's going on? This massive truck. <laughs> this massive hulking beast of a truck that literally smokes other trucks in like the deepest mud gets gets held up there. Oh man, I'm just I'm all over the place right now. Okay, I'll just go down to the end here. It's the only thing, man. The maneuverability is kind of like the limb fac. Oh, I thought I was gonna bust myself up there. I haven't seen the used car market price. Is it, are they terrible? Oh dude, that's a recovery vehicle. This thing is an insane. With that add on, that's, it's crazy. You know what, maybe, maybe I will keep this around. Maybe I'll keep one of them around or something. I don't know. Now that you say that storm. Now you got me thinking, man. Yeah, I, I, I bought my car. I bought my car in 2017. I paid it off in 2018. Okay, come on. Double tires and repair, repair body kit? Yeah. It's kind of cool that repair body kit even has uh, fuel on the top, which is pretty good. One K for 1999. What? Yeah, I bought my car new. Actually, I bought it when I was in the Air Force. I bought it new, and then I, I decided I wanted to pay it off like ASAP, so I paid it off within the year. To this line right here. <laughs> I know it's crazy, right? Let's not even get into the housing market. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's that's the craziness right there. I'm the guy that bought a house in 2022. First real IT job, 2001 Camaro Z28. Nice, black leather. Nice, man. That sounds legit. ARB bumpers, roof rack, and 35s. Nice. Yeah, trying to buy, buying real estate right now is, is not fun. Sold it because of kids. Oh, isn't that how it goes, basically, huh? Just it's crazy how wide of my passes I have to take. Like, my circles are so wide just to get this thing turned around.
crazy thing is I never thought about owning a, a motorcycle. I never, I never, it's weird, I don't know. I definitely own like a side-by-side -side or something like that, but never a motorcycle. I feel like I just like riding in a car better. Also, maybe it's just because sometimes I just hate driving. <laughs> To go around this side. Oh. Don't buy a Wrangler. Yo, what is up with the Wranglers having that violent shake? Do you know what I'm talking about? It's like some type of thing where the, the truck just violently shakes. Am I stupid or is that a thing? The death wobble? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is that? What is the death wobble? How, how can you even fix it? It's due to suspension lifts and oversized tires. My buddy had a Wrangler, actually. Soft top, short, short, short wheelbase version. I forget what, which, which one it was. Uh, it did, honestly, we took it off-roading. He had Pretty much like, a, I don't know if he had how much of a lift he had, but he had pretty big tires on it. And that thing, that thing did amazing. It was, it was crazy. Pilot induced oscillation, yeah, basically. Alright, now that that's taken, uh... Night night, Scarecrow. Fifty K. Wow. Fifty K and got thirty five K. Wow, dude. That's crazy. All right, here we go. All bluey. You're my boy, Blue. Blue, you're my boy. Thank you, sir. Anybody ever seen, uh, what's it? Is it, is it, old, is the movie called Old School? I don't know how I remember that, but I do. Oh, come on, man. I just want to, I just want to get this all edged out. Okay, so who in here is crazy about their lawn? Alright, that's what I want to know. Do I have any people who are like, mow their lawn every like three days? Okay, I need to like maneuver this correctly because this is not good. I hate it too. Okay, I can't, I, I'm just gonna go. Whatever, I'm just gonna go. We'll figure this out. We'll do this pass later. I'm sick of it already. I refuse to mow my lawn, so I, I do, my house is actually in a pretty nice neighborhood, to be honest, um, but I refuse to, to mow my lawn more than once a week. I'm so, I'm honestly, I'm so glad that it's, um, it's winter. I'm gonna do the sides now. Fence your yard and get some goats. Yeah, they'll they'll mow the lawn for you. Seriously. Once a week, you do once a month. <laughs> Dude, I wish, man. I wish. I'm definitely not one of those folks that get into like the yard wars. No way. Leaves and pine needles? Oh dude, yeah. I think I think I would probably like it more if if I had like a riding lawnmower or just a better lawnmower. And I got like a I have a push, but it's uh you know it's self-propelled. It just the deck is like pretty small. 
But, like, I don't have a big lot at all, so it's, like... A robot lawnmower? I've heard of those. I just don't know. You can get an agricultural tax exemption? Really? For a robot lawnmower. That's the one to cut your lawn every day, right? Basically... Oh gosh, here we go. No, 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 no. Yeah, until someone takes it, yeah. Because it has to sit outside, right? Because it, it's basically, like a, it's like an iRobot. Comes back. Oh, that's great. Yeah, it cuts constantly. Like, right, right? It doesn't, it just like... only thing is man with, with all these electric cars electric everything it's like dude we don't have the the power grid to support that stuff like I, the funny thing is like people think like because they're buying electric cars that somehow they're like saving the, the planet but they're actually <laughs> the amount of power it takes and where that power is derived from to charge your car is literally coal coal powered so it's like I don't know. What we need to do is create a hydrogen engine. Wait, I think someone did that already. That's what you need to do. The hydrogen engine needs to be... Needs to be in place. That'd be sick. Let's go back to... You know what? Let's go back to steam engines. They are. Electric cars are way worse. Have you ever looked up, just go look up cobalt mining. What it takes to make that battery. And look, and look at what it, what it does to the earth. It's unreal. It's unreal. I mean, dude, I, I honestly, I don't want I thought honestly I'm gonna be I'm gonna be real. When the when the Tesla Model 3 was coming out, I actually pre-purchased it when I was in the Air Force. And I literally thought out to myself, I'm gonna buy this. And then I, I came to a conclusion, I was like, wait a second, like No, I'm not I don't have the money for this. And like I don't know. <laughs> I was just like I don't I'm not doing this. Basically, yeah, the slave child labor doing the mining, yeah, but it's because people want to, they think that they're somehow saving the planet and they have this self-righteousness of, um, I drive a, a, e, a EV car and somehow I'm saving, I'm doing my part. You know what I'm saying? That's the, that's the, the logic. Okay, can I just back up? Go up the stairs. Yeah, and it's like, I don't know, dude, EV cars, they cost a ton of cash. They ain't cheap. Well, I'm flying right now. Yeah, I'm not an expert either. I just know I like my stick shift car out, out front. Or in my garage right now. It's a 2017. It's paid off. I don't owe anybody for it. It's mine. Um, yeah, I'm just <laughs> like a normal human being. I'm just trying to get by. It's a, it's a Volkswagen, uh, GLI. Save the man, seriously, man, save the manual. I've, dri I've driven, I've driven a stick shift car 
I drove one automatic car whenever I was like 16. And then after that, all of my cars have been stick shift. I feel like I've been I've done terrible on this right here. Oh man, I have to go all the way back around. Just being a steering wheel holder. First car was to stick to 1980 Plymouth Horizon. Nice. <laughs> you beat it up. <laughs> Have I not gone yet? On this. Okay, there we go. Honestly, I think I would have had this this part done already if I was in the K700, just because of turning. Give me a turn. Come on, I don't want to hit this shed. Oh wow, that's crazy. All right, gotta go around again, turn around, because this thing cannot turn. If I slowed down, I, I definitely can get a sharper turn, but I'm just not patient. Honestly, I think it's, it's valuable. It's valuable to know how to drive stick. It, it really is, honestly. Yeah, GLI is a nice car. I had a, before that, I had a Volkswagen um, Jetta TDI, which is a, a, turbo, a turbo diesel. And that whole deal that went down with the diesel emissions and stuff like that, they, they basically were going to strip it of its, uh, its, its torque, which was from the diesel injection and just a diesel engine in general, and give it basically a, a fix to, to fix that stuff. Um, it was that, or they gave me like $3,000 more than the car was worth. So I took, I took the, the latter part and then I just bought, I bought the, the GLI that was off the floor. They had it on the floor. It was sitting there, stick shift, <clears throat> red accents. I was like, Hey, I'll just take that. Dude, that, that TDI flew. It, it's crazy. It's crazy. And like you'd hear the, the diesel, like the whistle. Not like you would hear in like a big truck, but like you heard it. Like it definitely made that. So it was, it was there. I had the TDI. I had it for from 2014 until 2017. So about three years. And dude, I would get on the crazy, the crazy thing is I would get like 70 miles per gallon. No joke. I would get at least 45, like, cause I lived on base. Okay. In base housing. So when I would drive to work, I'd get out of my car, look at my, my consumption, like average, it'd be like 45 on the highway. If I go up to like the North shore to, to go to the beach or something like that, cause I lived in Hawaii. Um, 70 miles per gallon. Six speed turbo. And dude, it, it just, it, you step on the gas, downshift, and just give it. It, it, it went, man. That thing just, it took off. You drove turbo diesel for 25 years? Yeah, honestly, when I went to Europe in Germany, we actually had like we rented a Volkswagen like van basically uh, because our crew was there for a whole month. Stick shift. I'm pretty sure it was a stick shift diesel or it was automatic turbo diesel. It's crazy. Like they're all over. 
Like the crazy thing, like, dude, they're and they're pretty efficient. That's the crazy thing, man. Quality. Yeah, that's why I'll never live in a big city. <laughs> that's why I would never do it. I'm cool with living in a small town. Even though I probably could go to a big city and, and, and you know, make a lot more money. But then again, you live in a big city. My brother actually works for a company that takes restaurants, um, their oil that they, they basically get rid of from like their fryers and they harvest that and they create a biodiesel from it. And the crazy thing is there's a, there's a lot of, uh, it's kind of weird, but you you would never think. But a lot of people are like are like really into stealing like oil from restaurants that they that they no longer use. You miss living in Maine? Honestly, I think I would really love my next vehicle to be a diesel, but that's the thing. They're kind of very scarce now. Very scarce, and then paying for diesels kind of kind of sucks right now. A7M, man. Takes a whole field just to turn around. Look at this. That takes a whole field. <laughs> you lived in a town that had around 250 people in it? Dude, that's crazy. That's a small town. I like it. I'm telling you, man. Be a small town's nice. Small town's nice, man. I know my neighbors... Um, we all look out for each other. It's like, you have like a sense of like, people actually care about you. I like when I lived out, I, I've said this before, but when I lived in Arizona, like out West, man, like people don't really care about who you are. They don't care to, they don't really, it's, it's weird. Everyone's like out there trying to like hustle and do their thing. It's like, no one slows down to, to, you know to notice anyone around them. It's just, everything's all about them. GT regulation, mission regulations. Yeah, I, I just, I mean, the trucking industry, I don't think is gonna ever walk away from that. I don't think you could. You, you couldn't, the, our power grid would not be able to sustain freight like electric freight just it wouldn't and to be honest our our emissions from <laughs> from pumping out the power to even charge those those freight to ship things to people would not drop it would probably increase what's up Nikon welcome in yo Tangy oh, you're four hours late man man San Antonio feels like a small town. That's because it's Texas, my man. You gotta understand, Texas is, is different. That's why I like Texas. That's why I like Texas, man. Yep. Yep, that's true. Modern trucks, man. That's the thing, man. People don't understand is like... Modern trucks nowadays are so much more efficient than they used to be. Snowrunner loading screen. 
Nice snow runner. Texas is different in such a good way, man. It is, it really is. Don't get me started on barbecue. Yeah, Tang, you, you gotta throw on those Twitch notifications, man. Where am I at? 47%? Okay, so I've done that field. Out in the field is done. Grocery run, I've done that. I haven't done that. I have to deliver those. That's gonna go here. Yeah, so grocery run from these potatoes I just made are gonna go here. We're essentially done farming on this map. That's two maps down and farming, which is good unless there's some type of mission here. I hope or hopefully not. Like like hot potatoes. That's the samples over to that's from the institute, and I take the samples to crossroads. Lost tech. That's Institute 2. That's over in Harvest Corp. Don't have to worry about that. High voltage in Institute 2. Okay, so basically, basically guys, we have grocery run and special delivery, and then we basically start scouting on uh, on the Institute. And then we, yeah, so it's actually looking better. It's looking good. You get the bell click, but still, I don't get the dark notifications. It works on other channels, but not this one. My Twitch is broken. So usually if you have a download, the, if you have Twitch downloaded on your phone, like, let me see, where's my phone here? Let me see if I, I can show you guys this. Yeah. So I get, I get all my notifications. I don't know. It's weird. Maybe you have to turn push notifications on for Twitch or something like that. But yeah, I still get notifications when people go go live. It's weird though. It stinks you guys aren't getting notifications though. Anyways, y'all, that is the extent of my time today. We're coming up on four hours. Um, you, you basically guys got to see the crew, the uh, the Power Ranger crew here. Um, get to it. Did two fields. And uh, we did some other stuff too. So we're moving along pretty good, but 47%. So what's the mission count actually? 49 out of 107 with 232,000 paid out, which is probably going to be around close to five, I'm guessing. So, but yeah, I, I don't think I'm going to be streaming tomorrow. I'm going to be traveling. So we won't have a stream tomorrow. Um, if I do stream any time during the weekend, it probably could be on the morning of Saturday. Maybe not. I don't know. Um, but we probably will be streaming like after Christmas for sure. So is there a breakdown somewhere of what you unlock by level? What do you mean by that? Like trucks? Oh, yeah, I can show you, actually. Hold on. I can show you this. This is this is easy to show. I'll do this before I go. No. Sorry. Okay, so. You get resources. You go to unlocks per level on Map Runner. Okay, this is this is called maprunner.info. So basically, this sheet will show you vehicles unlocked, all this stuff. All these things are locked at different levels. Yep, maprunner has everything, man. I think if you can navigate maprunner pretty good, like this 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 right here, the the resources don't use this tire stat. Don't even look at this. Go down to SnowRunner data sheet. This is the one you want to look at. Okay. And then you go down to tires. These will show you the weights, the HP of the tire, the widths, softness, the mass, all these things. Okay. So it gives you the full, the full engine. And then here's the engine sheet, which shows you what happens when a, an engine takes damage and the effects of that, which we kind of talked about in a pre previous video. But yeah, that's essentially it. 
It does. Map Runner has a 3D rendering. It's called... That, that's another thing I should show, actually, too. Well, I think I did show that, but we'll go back in here. You go to here, here. I believe it's called 3D Maps Snow Render. This is really good. This shows uh, like the depth of textures in each map. It does take a lot of your resources, like GPU resources, so be prepared for it to take a while to load, but very awesome. This is actually made by Naked Dave, so thank him for that. But yeah, anyways, guys, I'm out of here. Uh, you guys have a, if I don't see you guys before Christmas, please have a Merry Christmas. Um, it's been a blessing, guys, and uh, the meaning of Christmas is is because of what Christ uh, did for us and, you know, come, come to earth to die for us, and that's what I'm celebrating. Um, Hope you are too. And I will pray that you guys have a wonderful Christmas and we will see you guys back here probably after that doing some more farming. So get up for it. We will see you guys later. And if you're traveling, be safe and uh, we'll see you guys later. So as always, God bless and stay upright.